Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Reed. I'm the art teacher here at Hamilton and I'm going to show you guys what we're doing in fifth grade which is gel printing. And the great thing about gel printing is it's literally you can just, it's a piece of jelly. You can um, buy this at Dick Glick or you can buy it at any craft store. It's nice because you can um, use it over and over again. So I'm going to demonstrate is how to use it. So right now we're just using um, we are using an outline here, a stencil, and you use the brayer, this rolly tool, and we're going to roll it over, and you're going to just roll it out, like so, and if you can kind of see it like that, that's what it's going to look like, rolled out, and it should be rolled out and applied really thinly, and all we're using is just basic tempera paint for that. Then what you can do is take a piece of paper, and you just lay it on top of it. And with this, you don't want to really like put a lot of pressure down because it'll just kind of go everywhere. So you just kind of gently pat it down. And then you're going to see the print like that. And then you do what's called a ghost print. That's what I'm having all the fifth graders do. And you're just printing again over top of it. What you can also do with this, you don't have to use just a stencil. So there's that. You can take it. And you can use different texture tools, like so. And you can just roll it over top of it. And you can use all different colors of paint. I'm just using black today because that's what's easiest. And just roll it out thinly on the gel plate again. And make sure you have it all covered up. And you'll take it, and you can take like a different texture tool or anything really, a paintbrush, whatever you want to use. And you can just make different textures on there. And then, again, you're going to want to take your piece of paper and lay it down flat, not press down too hard. And then there you go, you have your print. 